What pet is the best for hunters in phase one in Season of Discovery? There's been a lot of changes with pets and I've released a guide already about what was the best pet, but let's just retouch on it because I keep getting this question all the time. And you've probably seen this tier list from Veramos saying cat and raptor and wind serpent. And this is something that people look at and just assume cat and raptor are best. So there's a lot of caveats, a lot of things that go into this. Now, as a very quick TLDR, so you don't even need to watch the entire video, the best pet if you're a Beastmaster Hunter for the whole raid is going to be a Wind Serpent. If you are a Marksman Hunter, then I would play with a Cat or Raptor, a specifically slow attack speed Cat or Raptor, 2.0 attack speed, and you can get something like the Saber right up here, um, the Ghost Saber if you want it, or you can get a Raptor, like literally any Raptor. Just make sure that they know Rank 4 Claw and Bite if you're gonna get those. Rank 4 Claw, Rank 4 Bite. All right, why? Why is Wind Serpent the best pet if you are going to be using a pet for the entirety of the raid? Well, mainly it's because of the second boss. It's because the ability Lightning Breath not only has the highest damage per focus, it costs 50 focus. It's the most expensive ability of a pet in the game, but it's the most damage per focus ability that you have in the game. And second is that we aren't really all the time using the the kill command rune i literally don't have it this is a brand new hunter that just dinged earlier today and i did the raid once and was able to go in and pump in the raid i can show you guys kind of how everything looked this is for eye levels but that's how the damage went in there either way this should probably be kind of up here for 90 percent of players the wind serpent will do better for you i am a beast mastery hunter and the reason is mainly because it can do damage for the entirety of the raid let me show you just kind of doing one boss i don't have a helmet i don't have rings i don't have a weapon that does anything other than 12 spirit and very low damage but the wind serpent can definitely pump for you so I'm, you're just gonna watch this in the background now wind serpents not only do they do a ton of damage with their ability but on top of that they get a higher scaling of that extra damage from that ability since it hit harder from your extra 50 percent damage you're getting from the beast mastery rune and the 20 percent that the 30 and the 20 go into 50 percent from your talents so needless to say if you want to pump you can just pretty much have those runes it'll make things really easy wind serpent is great but wind serpents are pretty much the only pet that can do real damage to the second boss now scorpions of course could first or at first but to be able to even pump the boss at all you really kind of need your pet to be doing a lot of damage one thing you can do whenever you're fighting a boss that has phases where the boss doesn't take damage is you can actually turn lightning breath off literally you don't need claw for one because you never need to use claw but you can actually turn lightning breath off on your pet if i can scroll forward and find something like Gelahes. let's see if i can show you guys Gelahes really fast okay so when Gelahes is doing the phase you can see i have lightning breath turned off you don't need lightning breath now when Gelahes takes damage again turn it back on so that your pet can instantly use two lightning breaths because you need to have that 50 energy or 50 focus to be able to use lightning breath again this character is is naked so doing 200 dps on some of the bosses as a brand new fresh character is pretty much just kind of choosing the right way to play now also you do want to be melee weaving which is why a lot of the times we are using flanking strike so you want that slow attack speed cat or raptor or wind serpent that hits slow you can scroll over right here to see your attack speed you can see it's 2.0 because it'll hit harder with flanking strike you can use kill command still but ideally you will be melee weaving i'll have a melee weaving video out soon but melee weaving is a very 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 simple play style it will increase your dps ideally you're using flanking strike and using a macro something like this right here for your melee weaving macro also that's not in the description so if you want it just ask me later now let's look at 
the highest DPS overall throughout the whole raid is a hunter that is using Wind Serpent, of course. And the Wind Serpent, just from Lightning Breath alone, is doing 30 point, almost 31k damage. 31k just from Lightning Breath. Compare that to the very highest pet of anyone in the entire world that is doing the highest DPS as a not wind serpent and the claw and bite together are doing very close to that about 29k damage so it's very close but wind serpent still ekes out and the main reason it ekes out for almost every average player is going to be that second boss also wind serpent amazing for the actual pvp wind serpents are like godly in pvp so just know that you can choose to use a cat or a raptor for every boss it will do more damage for you for the average boss basically if you were doing something like going up against like maybe the first boss or or literally every other boss except for the second boss cat or raptor should be slightly better but wind serpent because of the damage specifically of that second boss is a better pet for the entirety of the raid and i would also use it for pvp now if you are marksman i would always go with a cat or raptor so that is pretty much all of the ins and outs of what you need to do to choose between the pets i would highly suggest going with a wind serpent for the average or most players honestly if you're looking at the entirety of the raid then go for that if you're looking to parse on a very specific boss something like lady service then i would go with a cat or raptor although wind serpent might might be better for you if you need to pull your pet back whenever the frost bolt goes out or the frost nova goes out you pull your pet back and then it can still do a little damage if the boss moves it slowly moves is slowly anyways that was a very quick one thanks for watching sorry that i had to put a second video about this it's just i get the question like hundreds of times a day wind serpent use a wind serpent if you're bm i would play bm i would always be melee weaving Unless you have a full bis gear and a very solid group, you're not gonna out DPS a BM Hunter as Marksman. You, you will do way more overall throughout a raid if you're using Wind Serpent on average. So just go with that. Marksman is more fun and you will do more damage if you are full bis and in a really good group. If not, just play BM. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys all on the next one.